Hi learners, this is Akshay from Lomos Aki Labs. Today we are going to be learning about how to make an animated construction videos in about 20 minutes using SketchUp and Lumio. So let's get started. The credit for this model goes to SCG who have their own SketchUp 3D warehouse page. Now we are going to learn how to make an animated construction video using this SketchUp model. And for that, what we need you guys to do is make sure you select each and every surface and make them into a group or a component. Select these groups or a component. We are going to copy it from here. We will be opening another new SketchUp page. Over here, I'm going to select the roof. Control X. I'm going to open the new model. Edit. Paste in place. Now I will save it as desktop. I'll create a new folder and I'll just type as one. So we will be repeating the same process over and over again for each and every component. Select it, make it into a group. Now I'll press Ctrl X. I'll open in another SketchUp model. I'll go to edit, paste in place and I'll press file, save as and now I'll name it as number two. Now as you can see all of the blocks have been cut and pasted and saved as. Now we can close this model, we don't have to save it and then next let's open Lumion. Now we are going to import each and every one of these blocks one by one into Lumion and for that we will go to file import we will select where we have saved and as you can see all the sketchup has been saved in numbers this is done for our ease now we choose one we will press open and then we will rename it as a new folder and we will type construction video as the name so a new folder is created and will give our important model a number as 1.1 and then we will import it Now we have the first block imported. Now what we are going to do is we are going to place it anywhere in the model. Okay and as you can see now the roof has been placed. Let's repeat the same thing once again with the other blocks. I will go to import, select the second one, 
opened this time I will type 2.2 and I will save it in the construction video and I will click on ok and I'll just place it here again so let us repeat the same process for everything else Once we have imported all of the blocks from SketchUp, we'll select them together, click on align position and as you can see now, everything is aligned at the point of origin. This way, it becomes easy for us to select and place all the model in a go without having to manually fix them. Now, once you're done with that, let's select the entire model and we'll just relocate it to a place where it's more visible. Now, as you can see, all of the blocks are placed perfectly. I will just raise this a bit higher so now we can see our plinth. Next, what we shall do is, we will select each of the surface and give a material to it. So, selected outdoor, now I'll select roofing and I will add a material for the roofing. And let us continue with this process for the entire model. Now once we are done applying all the materials, next let us create construction animated video and for that we will go to movie, we will delete the existing clip and then let us create a new clip, we press the record button. We will select the shot which we prefer as you can see over here I've chosen my height and I've set my scene and now I will capture this frame exactly over here two times. Next, I will increase the timer to 10 seconds. Once that is done, go to FX, select animation 
choose advanced move now i will press the edit button and once i choose the edit button we go into another tab now this is where we start and making the animation video so we have a couple of options we have scale we have move we will be using the change height option over here as i want all my blocks to be flying from above so now i will choose each surface individually and i'll change the height as you can see over here i selected my roof first and i lifted it upwards the same way i'm going to lift each and every block upwards Now once I'm done with that, as you can see, all my blocks are up in the air. So now, I'm going to raise these blocks one by one, each at a different height. So, when I bring it down, I don't get confused. Now, once I'm done adjusting all their heights, next I would want to make a keyframe. And for that, I will go down. As you can see, I will just slide this just a bit. And then, I have my first keyframe made. Now, what I'll do is, I'll use the change height option again. Select one of the components. In this case, let's say the plinth and I will slowly bring it down towards the land. Now once I've brought it down, I will make sure it fits perfectly on the ground. Now once this is done, I will start bringing down the rest of the blocks. And let us repeat the same process for everything else. Always remember guys, before bringing down a component or a block, you will have to create a keyframe. Now, 
the time between this keyframe can be increased or decreased depending at what pace we want it to come down if we want our block to come down very fast we will have to give a small gap between each keyframes but if we want to bring one block slowly we have to increase the time so that we can bring it down slowly as compared to the other blocks Now after we've done giving a keyframe for every block we will go back and we will press play and now as you can see according to the time between the keyframes each and every block comes down at a varied speed this is how you make an animated construction video now let's say in case you guys don't want it to be 10 seconds long you can go back select edit you can reduce the time to 8 and then you, as you can see the excess part is cut off. Now once this is done, next you have to render them. You can do that by simply clicking on the render button over here. Now lastly, we can choose at which quality we want our render to be in. Go to output quality, increase the number of stars, change it to 60 frames per second and increase your quality from Full HD to 4K depending on your system specification. So that's it guys. If you liked our video, please like, subscribe and comment on our YouTube channel and we will be posting more videos. Thank you.